Leave it 5 one turn right heading 180. Nearly 24 hours ago, at the time of recording, the first Boeing 777 took to the skies on its very first flight. An incredible achievement that may have actually confused you a bit. Considering in my video not that long ago, I did inform you all on a Thursday departure. Long story short, due to weather, the Thursday flight was indeed cancelled and it was moved to Friday, where for hours it held at the runway, waiting for wind speeds to calm down. Although this never eventuated, so they called it off again and moved it to Saturday, when they did successfully get the 777X Airborne in a flight which lasted roughly 3 hours and 51 minutes. The Boeing 777-9 can seat some 400 passengers, depending on what classes and overall configuration airlines actually opt for, and is 77 metres in length. It, in addition, has the new fancy folding wingtips, which are crucial in allowing it to not only be more fuel efficient when flying, but when on the ground, it'd be able to fit into tight parking spaces already at most major airports. You see, when Airbus launched their A380 and really introduced it, gates around the world, taxiways and more needed to undergo a major revamp. And also inside the airport, facilities were changed to help accommodate for the sheer size and capacity of the world's largest passenger plane. While Boeing could have done this, they did introduce these folding wingtips to allow the type to seamlessly move around already existing taxiways and of course arrive into specific gates when necessary. The captain and chief pilot for the 777X test and evaluations program said the 777X flew beautifully and today's testing was very productive. Thank you to all the teams who made today possible. I can't wait to go fly your airplane again. Boeing already has a number of 777Xs at different stages in production. However, WH-001, the 777-9 that flew yesterday, is indeed the first of four flight test units. And prior to it being cleared to fly again, we'll be undergoing a number of simply routine and regular tests. The tests are often conducted when a brand new airplane takes to the skies for the very first time especially considering it needs to be validated that the type is indeed safe following this first flight. The first flight occurred some 10 months after the 777X originally rolled out completed in March of 2019. However, delays hit the type thick and fast and has now pushed an eventual entry into service date to 2021 when customers Lufthansa and Emirates will be eagerly awaiting its entry into service. If you want to get your hands on a Boeing 777X and you happen to be watching this video, it'll only cost you around half a billion US. So far though, we've seen 300 or so of the jets ordered by customers around the world. However, Emirates, as probably expected, is currently one of the largest customers for the type, with over 100 still on order. Now, this comes after they actually cancelled slash deferred a number of the jets not that long ago, as their original total, I believe, was at around 150. What are your thoughts on the mighty Boeing 777X finally getting airborne? Personally, this is a long time coming, and with lots of little issues that did prevent it from getting to the skies, it's a great sight to see. The overall consensus I'm saying is that the jet is a stunner, and I do have to agree on that. It was definitely beautiful on the ground, but now that we've seen it depart and take off, it's simply a stunner for sure, and I look forward to covering it in the future as it does progress down the line and hopefully gets delivered next year. Thank you very much for tuning in, and of course, the continued support, it is simply astounding. I'll see you all next time.